Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel is Julie Entertainment, and today we are on episode 15 of Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival, where today we're going to be doing something a bit different from usual. Well, first I've got some cool stuff to show you. First of all, the town hasn't real, the upper town hasn't changed much at all. Uh, what's really changed is the lower part of town, inside the massive waste of wood hideout in super base. Oh yeah. And as you can see, the lag is a lot less. Uh, I turned off my slime farm machine. That was causing a lot of lag. So I think that helped a crap ton. So first, let's go down. First, I want to show you a little thing I did. It's not much, but it's just a tiny one, a little tidbit I want to show you so I don't just leave you guys in the dark. As you can see, I have increased the size of my farm. This was the original size, just I was too lazy to ever finish building it. And I plan on having a few little crops down here, which will be quite nice. And the lag was also because of all these cows. I killed like a few hundred of them, probably like a thousand. Uh, these are the drops I got from killing all those cows. So as you can see, I killed a lot. And actually, I had almost two stacks of leather, but I used it for something I'll show you in a minute. But, and there's a little sun there. Yay, the sun! But, the big thing for today... Uh, that I want to show you. I have continued decorating the other hallway, and let me tell you, I am actually quite proud of it. Each uh, Minecrafter usually has their own build style, like what kind of colors they like to use, and I dabbled with a bunch of birch wood, I dabbled with that hallway, I dabbled with in there, uh, but I never found what I really loved, but I finally found it. ba -na, na na Look at this. It's orange walls gray stones, and checkered floors and ceilings. It looks awesome. As you can see, I got this curve right here. I got all the automation stuff here, and this hallway looks really cool now. As you can see, I worked on the cobble machine, and now it looks all nice. I'll probably put another carpet there just for grins, just so it'll look extra, extra nice. And down here, there's nothing yet. Uh, over here, I plan on having some kind of armory. And I don't know what down here, maybe a witchery, but it's going to be a huge underground complex. But you may be asking, Axel, you closed up that wall right behind you right now. How are you going to get from here to your mine? Well, uh, there's something I want to show you. Well, uh, don't look at that. That armor is not important yet. I'll sell you in a minute. It would be in the armory, but I don't have an armory. You notice there's a new door here. This is to the behind-the-scenes area. This is behind-the-scenes area at uh, Stranded City Underground Hideout. As you can see here, I have my good old slime farm that goes down there. As you can see, it's turned off. The redstone clock isn't going. Yes, this thing is causing a crap ton of lag. It was horrible. But as you can see, we've got the inside of this, the inside of this, and the inside of the farm, and this is the water source. We got back here, there's nothing really. But as you can see, I just carved out a bunch of stuff. I plan on making Stranded City a pretty big un uh, underground area. So maybe I'll just close off this area and have a giant underground place back here. That was the original intention, but for right now, it's just a behind-the-scenes area. But you may be asking, what the heck was that armor stand? Well, that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, now, let's see. Click it. I'm going to click in. You'll see what we may, you may guess what we're going to be doing. As you can see, it's a hazmat suit. And you may be asking, Axel, why do you have a hazmat suit? I don't need to put it on yet. But, uh, but the answer is pretty simple. Uh, I am finally going to get rid of the spaceship wreckage that uh, was our spaceship, well, my spaceship, when we crash-landed in Stranded City. You know, if you watched the first episode, I uh, the reason I'm on the Noodle Planet without Think Noodles is I went back in time and crashed here on a spaceship, and it's just been sitting there being all radioactive, and it's really bad for the environment. And so I have five iron pickaxes, and I'm going to go do it. And I'm just going to throw all that iron away because, one, it would be cheating to use the iron, and two, since it's uh, from a spaceship that's crashed, it's highly radioactive because we had, like, netherrack rockets. We propelled ourselves with netherrack, and that netherrack is highly toxic uh, with the radiation that we put into it. It had some uranium fuel cores. It used over 1.21 gigawatts. Uh, so we're going to need to destroy that. But... 
first uh, thing I want to say is, do you like this new design? I love it. I'm thinking this may be a little crazy, but I had an idea. I'm thinking of converting the entire storage room into that. Because honestly, this looked a lot better in my head than it actually does in real life. I don't think it looks very good anymore, the color scheme. It looked good in my head and in concept, but I don't really like it. The, uh, these walls look too plain. They don't ma they don't convert enough. Well, they don't they aren't crazy enough. So I'm thinking of switching them out and doing the whole orange and checkerboard thing. Uh and all this sandstone will be replaced with red sandstone. But it'll be a very difficult task considering I use all of my orange uh, uh, clay to make this. Like, literally, I have, like, five pieces of orange clay left. And uh, red sandstone is even more difficult to come by. Uh, so, I, uh, if you guys really don't want me to do it, then I won't spend a year doing it. Uh, but I think it would look cool. But that's up to you guys. So this right now is going to be a uh, a time lapse. Uh, I don't know where my mind was at that moment. A time lapse of me destroying the spaceship of Cray Cray Super Ness, and then there'll be no more spaceship, and I will get rid of all that stuff. And I left the door open. Oh no, there's gonna be a draft in here. All my heating bills will be horrible because. I let all the cold air in there. And then this spaceship wreckage will be no more. Let's take the map. Yes, we've got it. And now, got to get our hazmat suit on. Now we've got our hazmat suit on. It's all yellow like you'd expect a hazmat suit to be. And the reason that armor stand was in my war room is, as I've said, I don't have an armory yet. So it's time for me to go destroy that ship. I'll see you guys in a second. The time lapse will start in three, two, one, go!
And that's it. OMG, that took such a freaking long time. Oh my goodness gracious, that was boring as heck. Though you guys got to listen music to it, uh, music drain it. I didn't get any music. I was just sitting here holding down the click button for about an hour. Now, uh, I'm running over here because I have to admit, I didn't get all of the sip done because, as you can see, there's still a bit down here, and I do not think I'm going to be able to get down there and get that. That's, that's not going to happen. I'm just going to fill this up with dirt and stuff and sand, and it'll be so down, uh, far down into the ground that nobody will even, uh, well, nobody will even notice. Worst case scenario, all the uh, radiation goes into the groundwater, and everyone dies from radiation poisoning. But what's the chance of that happening? Ha 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 ha. I probably should get rid of that. I'm not sure. Oop, I almost ran in. But uh, now we need to dispose all of all this stuff in the only way possible. Goodbye, item frames. Goodbye, original maps. Goodbye, nether rack. Goodbye, stack of iron blocks, and another stack of iron blocks, and another stack, and another stack, and another stack, and another stack. That was so painful. Ow. I physically feel pain from how much uh, iron I just tossed out. And this is the original map uh, that's not radioactive. So let's see the new how it looks now. And now it looks a lot better. Uh, all the spaceship debris is gone, and it's starting to look more like the natural terrain. Now I just need to terraform and destroy all of this. It will not destroy, but bury it under dirt so that I will ne uh, the whole sip debris will be completely gone, and the whole crash space of thing will be long forgotten. And yeah, so. Pretty successful. We got rid of all that. Now I have to bury all that. My next step, I think I'm going to get rid of all these trees I've planted and uh, build some way to have trees neatly because I do not like the fact that uh, I have to have all these trees here. They're all together and they all look really ugly when they're all just sitting together. But I can't really do much about that right now. And let's go place this map. Ooh, I got an egg. Yay! Let's go place it back into the map of Stranded City. And now the crash debris, well, the crash site is halfway gone. And that is pretty good. The map of Stranded City is starting to look better and better every day. Soon I'm going to have to expand somewhere, and I don't know where. I'm thinking I want to do a residential area out here. Over yon oh my, I didn't mean to break all that. Over yonder in this area or somewhere because it's really flat right here. This would be a great residential area right here, but it looks kind of weird because of the 1.8 junk. Uh, I don't know. There's nothing I can do about that now, but that uh, that may be the next project. I'm not sure. And if you enjoyed this, leave a like, a comment, and maybe even subscribe to join the Axel Empire. Uh, you never know what, uh, give me a suggestion on what I should do next, because I have no idea. Uh, until next time, I'm Axel, from Axel Azuli Entertainment, and goodbye!